Hi, Station Camp Elementary School. I'm proud to be here on Career Day and tell you a little bit about the work I get to do every day. My name is Dr. Melissa Porter Whitener, and I am the proud mom and aunt of five Station Camp Elementary School students. I am a licensed clinical psychologist, which means I'm a doctor for your mind, your thoughts, and your feelings. Let's talk about that a little bit more. So everybody has feelings. And so one of my jobs is to get people to talk about their feelings, figure out what they are feeling. Sometimes it's hard to know what you're feeling. Sometimes it's easy to know that you're happy, but it's not always easy to understand when you're sad or mad, but then there's usually something you're sad or mad at. And so my next job is to talk to you about what your thoughts are. You have a whole bunch of different thoughts. We all have different thoughts. So think about it. If I say, don't think about that pink elephant, you probably thought about that pink elephant. And so one of my jobs is to help people think about what their thoughts are and what their feelings are because together they affect your behavior, right? If you're at school and there's something that you're really sad at and you have the thought, I'm not good at this, it's gonna change what you do. Maybe how you do on that math test or how you do on that math quiz or that reading assignment. And so one of my jobs as a doctor is to help you think about what your thoughts and your feelings are and how they connect to your actions. So what is a typical day like for me? Generally, people come to my office to talk to me. You don't have to be sick to come talk to me. Life can be really difficult at times. There's a lot of things that make us happy and sad and angry. And my office can be a really fun place to come talk about things. My office is super magical because when you come into my office, you can tell me anything you want and you will not get in trouble. No matter what it is, you can tell me when you're mad or you're sad or you're angry or you're having a hard time, you can tell me good things too. Sometimes people come talk to me when things are just going really difficult. Right now with the illness, a lot of people are talking to me how difficult it is wearing masks and staying at home. And I'm trying to help them reach their goals or change their behaviors. Ways to think about ways that just because we're still remote and we have to wear masks, we can still do things that are in our control. I also help learn, help people learn to ask for what they need or what they want. For kids, I can help them talk to their moms and dads about things that they're worried about talking to them about. I can help people learn how to talk to each other and how to participate in different things. There's a lot of things that I talk to people about Right now, I work with students at Vanderbilt University. And so I work with a lot of the college kids, trying to help them make sure that they can go through college and do all their college experiences. Sometimes they have troubles. And there's a lot of different ways that I can help people and a lot of different things that people struggle with. But sometimes when someone is not safe, I can't keep secrets. Now, there's an exception to that. Most of the time I do keep secrets. That's why my place is so magical. I don't even tell parents sometimes what I talk about with kids, but when I cannot keep a secret, when none of your teachers can keep a secret is when you're not safe. And if I know somebody who's not safe and there's lots of different ways to not be safe, sometimes I have to put them in the hospital and I have to help them get to the hospital because their feelings of sadness or anger or things they're going through need me to help keep them safe. Because of the illness, I've not been able to go into work and meet with my students in my office. And I do miss that magical space. So I've had to create that over Zoom and through virtual environments. So now I'm working from home and I still get to meet people on my computer. And the really cool thing is I get to meet people from a lot of different places. Ones that would drive to meet me or have to drive for a long time. Now they can see me over the computer. What we've learned during the pandemic is that everybody is struggling in some way. Wearing masks and trying to be social distancing and everything you've done at school is affecting everybody. So my work is more important than ever. Being available for people and being there to help them talk about their thoughts and feelings and find ways that they can feel in control and just talk about things that are hard because we all miss different things about how school is different, like how the parents can't come. And I can give you an opportunity to talk about that because saying your thoughts and feelings can really be helpful. And remember, because my office is magical, 
You can say it without getting in trouble, without anybody getting mad. And I keep a lot to myself, unless you're gonna hurt yourself. What do I love about my job? I love being able to listen to everybody's stories and be a part of working with them and helping them feel better. Remember, sharing something and talking about it can help you feel better. And I love being able to help somebody figure out what's making them sad, what's making them angry, but what makes them happy and help them think through those thoughts and what they can do. I have a lot of students I work with even in college who think I can't get a good grade or I won't make any friends. And I love being able to see how they use the tools and the skills I teach them to do and go out and get that job or do that really big grade. Everybody's story is so special. And I am so privileged that people share with me their stories and tell me their thoughts and feelings because I know that's not easy to do. And it takes a lot of trust. So you're probably wondering how much school is needed to be a doctor and a doctor of psychology. That's what I have. I have a doctorate degree in clinical psychology, which meant I spent 10 years after college and lots of different training experiences. So I could work with children, families, and adults on issues of thoughts and feelings or how you may hear it called mental illness. So I did go to school for a long time but I had a lot of fun doing it too. So the skills I use every day that are important that you're learning from all your teachers, lots of reading, there's writing, because I have to talk and write notes just like you see when you go to the medical doctor. Communication skills are important, critical thinking, creativity, and science. These are all skills that I use every day in working as a psychologist. This field is super important. A lot of people think of doctors as only medical doctors, but psychologists are other doctors too that are really important. There's a lot of different jobs to be a psychologist. You can be a psychologist that works in art or in forensic settings. You can be a school psychologist. Station Camp has a school psychologist. You can be a sports psychologist and help athletes. You can be a counselor. That's a lot what I do with Vanderbilt. There's a lot of different ways that psychologists help our society to look at different issues and make sure all voices are heard. So if you ever have a problem that you struggle talking about, think about if you wanna to talk to a psychologist. We're really fun to talk to in a magical safe space. So Station Camp, thank you so much for letting me share what I do every day and how I love being a psychologist. Take care everybody.